the mission of, of iTech has always been to recognize and catalyze innovation in the industry. And innovation is really a, a troublesome thing. Innovation is really disruptive because you're coming into a place where there's a system running things and then an innovator says, there's a different way to do it. And people tend to reject it because it reduces their, the value of their experience or they think it's too hard. But an innovator is a very brave person and he really takes, he and she, really takes the slings and arrows as they carry the innovation through that process. But innovation is really the important step uh, that leads to the life that we lead. We think creativity does. But when you have an idea and you create something and you run a patent, that really hasn't done anything. It's when somebody takes that idea and puts it into hardware, a tire, an automobile, that's the innovator. And he's the one that delivers this creativity to you in a, in a usable fashion. And now we have the honor of recognizing uh, Bernard Blumich, who's bringing a test into our environment that allows the tire manufacturers to look at tires while they're still on the wheel and inflate it without disrupting them and with the magic of uh, MRI, the same gadget that you go into the hospital, unfortunately for, for diagnostic testing. The hospital one is a million dollar machine that takes up a whole room, totally useless to our needs. But Bernard has developed through the magic of magnetism, so much of which I don't, don't understand, but it's a technical notebook in this issue of Rubber Plastics News. And please get a copy of it, read it, try hard to understand it, because it's a magnificent development, taking these magnets and being able to reduce this monstrous machine, multi-million dollar machine, into a shoebox machine, shoebox size, which is called the mouse. And this is uh, the acronym. I thank my collaborators for doing the work that I could report here and uh, get the Harold Herzlick Award. And last but not least, I want to thank Harold. You know, his, uh, the, uh, Herzlick is, 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 is from German, right? It means, if you pronounce it correctly in German, it says Herzlich, something that comes from your heart. And when we say many thanks, we say Herzlichen Dank. And since it's the time of the Oktoberfest, you know, the, the, the boys give to their girls actually these uh, little uh, 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 cookie hearts uh, uh, decorated with sugar, and they might say Herzlichen Dank. Now, since we have no boy and girlfriend, uh, but it is Oktoberfest, I just took a picture of this. And to you, I say Herzlichen Dank. Thank you very much for your attention.